Good morning. Uh, me and the kids decided since it was going to be such a nice day, we'd head out early and go see some stuff around Port Republic. And I haven't been down here in a while, um, so I thought I'd come out here first. This is the JMU farm. Doesn't look like much of a farm. Um, the JMU's owned this building forever. And they used to use it as a retreat um, for st students. Students that couldn't go home on the weekends and stuff, they needed to get away from campus for a minute. They'd come out here and chill out in the house. Um, but, oh my gosh, there's been so much work done down here. Look at this parking lot. This was not here the last time I came. And the house, it looks like it's been all fixed up. And there's a gate. Holy macaronis. The pavilion's always been there, but wow. What a place. And then the river is right behind it. Really nice looking. Also, there was no fence around it the last time I came. So it's interesting that it's fenced off. Huh. We can still use it, I guess. We can walk. Oh, though, that gate looks pretty locked. This is public use, but you can't use the facilities. So, but it says public use. Hmm. Oh well. Whatever. But that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool what they've done down here. So out here in Port Republic, and we passed by a passed by a church and saw an old fenced off cemetery with some stones in it. So I thought I'd jump out and check it out. Old fence. See if we can read the stone. What do you think? Yeah, it's stone. Oh, get over there. It's pretty sunken in. What does got that say? Yeah. Emmett, stop moving, please. He has to get to the other side. Oh, you can read the other side. Why do I why can't I step in there? Oh, because it's dead person? Snapper. Snap. Snap. <coughs> January 7th, 1834. To March. 18, what does that say? Like in five. Hey, 18 like in five. Perfect. Hey, 1972 to 19, no, 1872 to 1902. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Reverend James Mann Haynes. What? This is so ugly. Hey, Daddy. I step on that bird. Please don't step on a dead bird. I did it. That's like an old house there. I said Kevin. Look at that. Yeah, I, I, I think that looks, that does look like a house, doesn't it? It looks like a ghost house. And there's definitely logs in it. I bet there's a ghost. Let's go. Daddy, it's not a Well, we're not going to get too close. We're going to stay in the cemetery. We're not going to walk all the way over to the house. Because I don't, that might be somebody's private property and I don't want to go walking all over it. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. This guy. Daddy. Yeah. I'm going to give you a long place or two places. Well, we're going to go several places. Daddy. What? We can go stay yeah. Why can't we? We have to go walk. 39 to 1917. Let me see, Finn. Can we see? Look at this. Like, March 16th, 1860. It's got this nice rose here. This one, I can't really read the date. 1828, maybe, to... But it's got this great weeping willow. William Lewis. And then again, look at that great. Is a grave right there? Yeah, is that a cabin? It's gotta be a cabin, right? It's broken up like an old house. 
And there's some other old buildings over there. This is what caught my eye that drew me to the cemetery was that it's a historic district. So uh, right here was a, a foundry, the Port Republic foundry, and they made the sickle for the McCormick Reach Reaper. And I guess these are the ruins. Look awful modern-ish. I guess it did say it was rebuilt in 1900. I mean, that's Portland, isn't it? Here. Um, Portland didn't... So the history of Portland, because it was really expensive, they brought it over from Europe, started making it in Pennsylvania and in um, Michigan. And then... Portland cement took off in the early 1900s. We encased everything in Portland cement. Ooh, Daddy, can we walk in there? No, we're not going to walk in there. Because this is like, okay, who knows how many rattlesnakes are in there. So this has been sitting here like this since we, my first time I ever came here. Don't know why. There is something crawling around on the top half. I saw it when we drove by originally. And then look at that. There's a fireplace back there. There's something up there. I think it's a raccoon. Raccoon? Up on the top level. Can we get in there and take it out? No, because it's private property. So we're not going to go mess around with somebody else's property. No, I do. Yeah. So does us. So how is it private? So. Daddy, yeah, look at those. Just see Rocky right now. Nice beams. Raquel, calm down. So the first time I came through here, there were goats in the cemetery eating the grass in the cemetery, and Finn's demonstrating how the goats get into the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Yeah. Be a goat. Unleash your inner goat. <laughs> goat simulator. Port Republic edition. Can you slide down? <laughs> oh, God. All right, Emma, there's a car coming. Wait, I don't see you. Oh, I heard car. it. Maybe not. All right, now let's go, Emmett. Let's leave. <laughs> yeah, sure. Finn's, Finn's now living here in this. This old cemetery. Can I go? I want to go. Can I be the oldest stone here? Dates from 1767 or has a birth date of 1767? So, um, it was the cemetery was established in 1793. Um, just recently I learned that there were, there was a pre-revolutionary war fort here, a frontier fort, right? And you could still see the stones of its foundation into the 20, 20th century. I'm not sure if it's still here, I'm not sure where it would be, but maybe we'll see it. Ghost in the graveyard. Oh, no. No. I see a clock. What is it? What kind of tracks? Claw marks? Claw marks. So there was a mill here at one time. It's now gone. But this is the old mill race here. Or at least the bed of it. Mommy, we're going like this. That's weird. 
And then there's a, there was a house built between the river and the race. Daddy, stairs. And it's under the periwinkle. The remains of it, the foundations, are under the periwinkle, wherever the periwinkle is. Oh, there's a classic camper back there. Check that out. All right, Emmett. Check that out. Dad, can I swim? Or can I swim? Frank G. Kemper House. It's also like the Port Republic Museum. Ashby was brought here after he was killed in Harrisonburg. Stonewall Jackson came through here. Yeah, it's a support Republic Museum. Why is the mill? Oh, I know where that is. This? Yeah. At least, can I take one? If you really want one. Do you really, really want one? No, I don't really want one. <laughs> yeah. I, that, if you want to meet it, you can. It's not for too far from Olivia's house. Oh, yeah. I was reading this sign about the Battle of Port Republic. I happened to look behind it. There's tombstones. Several stones right here. Look at that everywhere. black thing over there. That one predates the war. That's another tombstone, Ben. What is that black thing? What is that black thing? That's like a fire kettle. It's like a fire kettle. What is that? It's a thing you have a fire in. Oh. It's beautiful. So right here, there was a bridge. Hey, that, I think that is just to be, you know, sometimes it's a tree fall when you are in a hill. See? That one fell in the hill. You can boy. see some. That one fell in the hill. Oh. Thin, thin. Don't get near the edge. Some stonework over there. There were other bridges here. I think the sign over there says there were four. Daddy, can we go down there ever? I don't know. It's probably private, private property. How is it private property? Somebody owns it. Yeah, see, it says no dumping. Private property. No, no. Yeah, right there, there's a sign. It says no dumping private property. What does no dumping mean? It means don't throw your trash down there. No. Why? Because it's private property. No, why do you I wouldn't. Why? Because underneath that periwinkle. It is a periwinkle. Look. Are these periwinkles? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Why. Yes, that's periwinkle. What do they do? It's just a flower. Okay, so during the war, Stonewall Jackson is on one side of this river. He looks over here. He sees a Union gun crew roll up here. He starts giving the Union gun corps, corps orders because he thinks they're Confederates. Can you imagine? They can't hear a thing he's saying because the river's so loud. Hey, Matthew, you blew up. Mm -hmm. And then he burned the bridge. He blew up. He, he burned. He put that, fire. That, that kind of looks like a bridge where a bridge would have been down there, right? Yeah. Right down there. I think we could get there. Though. And this is a bridge. So which bridge did he blow up? 
That one? This one? I think the sign said there were four of them here at one time. So that's one, two, three. The fourth. That probably be the fourth. That, yeah, that's right there. See? There's so which one, one do you think he burned down? Four. One. So two. Three. You see another one over there? Yeah. See that little vest? Oh, yeah, I do too. It's, it's kind of hard to see over there, but I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you just drop that down. So, thanks, man, for listening. I was out of here a few years ago, and I found a pretty interesting story in there, in the cemetery. So I think I'm going to go check that story out again. This road's name is Fountain Cave. Road. Wow. If I know anything about roads that say cave, there's no cave on the road. But what if there is? What if there is a fountain cave? A Does cave that mean there's a cave fountain? with a fountain? What does it mean, Finn? I think there's a fountain with a cave. A fountain with a cave? Yeah. What about a cave with a fountain? Yeah, that's the fountain. So for some reason, I get really strong, like, Night of the Living Dead vibes here. Not sure why. But, um, so while I was here last time, like I was saying... This guy, Dr. J. E. Eagle, um, his story, I actually found his story. So I happened to see this stone the last time I was here, and I wondered what the heck, a doctor dying at 36 years? That seems like there's a story, and sure enough, there was a story. The good doctor here overdosed on what was known as Jamaica ginger. It was a highly potent medicine with a super high alcohol content and people used to drink it during prohibition to get drunk. Um, of course he didn't die during prohibition, but um, so drinking Jamaica ginger would give you a condition where your hands and your legs would become paralyzed. This was called the Jakes. It's also where we get the saying, oh, he got a Jake leg. Jake leg comes from the Jakes. The poor doctor here overdosed and died on Jamaica ginger. Stories everywhere, I tell you. I tell you there's stories everywhere. So that's probably going to do it for today. Um, Harper's got to go to a play, so we kind of got to go get back home, take her to her play, and we're gonna do it. Let's see if I can get a shot. There's an octagonal barn just up the road. Octagonal barn, what the heck? The only other person I know that has an octagonal barn is George Washington. It's at Mount Vernon. Believe it. All right, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. See you on the next one. Thanks for coming along. See ya.